This DIY is my cup of tea. It's time for DIY, damn it! Welcome to DIY, damn it, the show where I curse while I try to make things I find online. Today we are making a candle out of a vintage teacup, but don't be fooled, there's nothing proper about this show. Today, my guest is the wonderful writer, ingenue, model, God damn it, he's everything. Please welcome Edward Hansen. Oh my God, this is a DJ Max. A glue gun, a candy thermometer, wire wicks, a pot to melt your wax in, bamboo sticks, candle scents, and vintage teacups. Over the years, like I'm obsessed with smelly candles. And I, I swear to God, I've dropped thousands on candles. I mean, who hasn't, you know? Like that's, I, I mean, the thing about candles are, it's just like, it's an investment in yourself and your happiness. So I completely get that. Pick a teacup. I have a few to choose from. Okay. I got these on Etsy. Can I choose this one? Cause Absolutely. this is very Lady Jocelyn to me. Absolutely. So I want that. Um, this is very, what I need in my life, um, class. <laughs> your first step is to take a wick and we're gonna glue gun it to the bottom of your, what are these called? Cups. And no wicks were harmed in the making of this, by the way. <laughs> so I just want you to know that. None right? at all. These, <clears throat> these were farmed wicks. Okay. They weren't good. caught in the water. Okay, wild. good. Yeah, no poached. wick mills happening. This is like all legitimate. So please, Jocelyn, I'm not used to packing heat. So can you please do it for me first? <laughs> like, I really am scared. Like, okay. I'm terrified. Okay. okay. This is. Ah! No, you're fine. It won't hurt you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay. Perfect. Now I just have to put that in? Yes. Okay. And it might be a little toasty when you push down at it, but it oh, probably for real? won't burn okay. you. We're gonna wrap our wick around this bamboo stick so that when we pour the wax in, the wick stays in place. Very technical work here, guys. Well, just so that then it'll evenly burn. We're going to put wax in here and melt it. We have a burner, but you can use your stove. Okay. Unless you wanna buy a single burner to have around. Yeah. I mean, people are weird. What do I know? These are soy wax chips. Um, Again, you have to make sure like, you know what kind of wax you're buying for your wick. Christmas. That's what the crazy candle guy told me. So now you're gonna put, this is actually a, a thing I got at the candle store. Yeah. And you're gonna put on your stove. You don't want it super high. You probably want it medium to low. Okay. So it just kind of burns slowly and doesn't, it will catch fire if it's too hot. Right, and that's not good. So this could be footage of us. This could be it. This could be the, the last known footage if the, if the camera people get out. You want to also mix this up, you know, just like anything you're cooking, so it's like any good melting. cauldron. Okay, let's take the sucker off and let's measure the temp. Okay, it's it's just the right temperature. So let's first pick a scent. First. Okay, pomegranate cider. Let's both get a little a little smidge. Oh boy, that is great. Do you like it? Yeah. I have no idea how much to use, by the way. Okay, you gotta pick a color. What do you think would go best with our teacups? I think we should try aquamarine. I think we should too. Perfect. Thank you. See, so yeah, you grabbed for it. You went for it. Thank you. I'm gonna have you put these in here. Now, should I drop them in? Yep. Okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna pour it in. Yep. But you're sure? Absolutely. Okay. So I just pour it in there? Yep. Okay. As opposed to on the table. Um, so let's do... Ah! Okay, when do I stop? Keep going. Okay. You can go right up, to, you know, just leave a little room so it can burn down, but it could actually go to the tippy top. You... If there's enough in there. How's that? That's good, you got a little more. Okay. All right, guys, this is a lot of pressure, but I'm succeeding so far. Thank you. This is gonna take a while to set. Um, you and I are gonna go get a cocktail, and then it becomes this beautiful grown up candle. Cheers. Cheers. Ed, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. You're so you're, great. Oh. You're so thank you. A follow Ed on Twitter. Um, at the real Ed Hansen. Not the fake one. Not the fake one. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see TJ Miller and I make paper mache gold leaf bowls. Click here to find out how to make a pillow out of a Boy Scout shirt. Click here and come back next Wednesday for a brand new episode.